So one of the things the president gets to do is they get to nominate people to be ambassadors. Now, they don't really do anything. They don't really have any experience, uh, the people that are picked, in doing diplomacy. It's basically just a free extended vacation for whoever gets picked. So I I'm giving you that context uh, because I'm sure a lot of you are going to be angry about this pick. And originally reading the story, I was like, yeah, this is bullshit. And it still is bullshit. Uh, and really, you have to understand it as a bit of a favor uh, to these people who are picked. So now the story is, this is from the Huffington Post, uh, that Trump has chosen Lana Marks as the ambassador to South Africa. So now... Look, Lana Marks, of course, is the founder and chief executive of Lana Marks Incorporated. Now, she's basically known for selling handbags. In fact, her handbags can cost as much as $400,000. Now, why anybody would pay $400,000 for a handbag? Look, I, look, I, get, I guess I kind of get fashion slightly, though not really. I mean, look, it's right. Um, I look, if I were a woman or if I were trans or whatever, right, I wouldn't buy a handbag over $25 that make $400,000. You're insane. Tax the rich. Okay. Nonetheless, her handbags cost $400,000, right? So, or can cost as much, uh, as, so she's fabulously wealthy, right? Uh, now, she also happens to be a member of Mar-a-Lago. Now, Mar-a-Lago is President Trump's resort in which uh, members have to pay $200,000 uh, in order to be a member there. Now, that, of course, affords you certain access to the president, which is absolutely obscene. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have that. You shouldn't be able to pay uh, in order to get access to the president. That is, that is the opposite of what the president should be. The president should, of course, represent all Americans, not just super wealthy Americans, but you see where I'm going to this, right? Now, so again, she, she is, uh, she's very, very wealthy uh, and is a member of Mar-a-Lago, so you can understand exactly why she was picked. But there's actually more. It actually gets far more interesting here. Uh, now, of course, this goes back to the story of which um, the White House on Wednesday, Trump announced several new appointments to key administration posts. Uh, so he's handing out these things like they're candy. Now, this isn't something that is new. Uh, I think uh, obviously other administrations have done the same thing. Appointing donors, for example, I think during the Obama administration to these key ambassadorial posts as kind of like a, hey, thank you for basically giving me money. Now, Trump promised, of course, to be different. He's going to drain the swamp. Well, the swamp... As I pointed out on many occasions, it's gotten swampier. There has been absolutely no change. Big donors end up getting more, uh, you know, getting these plush positions. Uh, and this is really no different except for the fact that this is Trump's business. She just didn't give to campaign uh, to his campaign. No, she basically spent $200,000 to be a member of Mar-a-Lago. And that money goes right into the president's pocket right into the family's pocket. So this is actually worse than it was before. This is actually even swampier, right? Uh, but when you get to the character of who this person is, who Lana Marks is, and what she's gotten in trouble for, well, it actually gets worse. It gets swampier. Uh, now, according to the Palm Beach Daily News, the South African-born entrepreneur has a legacy of lawsuits past and present. They said, in more than a dozen past lawsuits against her in Aspen, New York, California, and South Florida, Marx has been repeatedly accused of stiffing her attorneys, accountants, landlords, and employees. Oh, does that sound familiar? Not paying her employees, not paying landlords, accountants? Hmm, interesting. Let's continue. She is also embroiled in bitter international legal battles in South Africa and Israel with her siblings over a family trust and the care for their 89-year-old mother. Well, now, if that isn't a, a, a female version of Donald Trump, I don't know what is. 
owns a you know a company that sells overpriced what I think is junk, overpriced bullshit, uh, and is fighting with their family over control of the trusts or for the money, uh, which is a lot like what Donald Trump himself had done uh, with his father when his father was dying. In fact, he threw his father under the bus tried to change the will in order to get more access to the money and write out some family members. And, as I said before, has a history of stiffing people. Uh, most notably, at least in my mind, the Freedom Girls. You hired the Freedom Girls during your campaign, and you even stiffed them. I mean, seriously. <laughs> Insanity, right? She sounds just like Donald Trump in that regard. So, to see this appointment does not surprise me whatsoever. This is the swamp. This is corruption 101 Trump style. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc. We're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYT Nation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.